Uh, we have here uh, 10 dash uh, crinkle. Uh, you can't really see his other ear notch there, uh, but uh, this this barrel we have here. Uh, you saw his litter mates, and I think uh, he's got a got a high ceiling, and that's one that he's going to get out and uh, feed very well and just be very complete in the end. Yeah, I love these kind. I mean, I, I go to a lot of farms and I would say, hey, where's the scratch and dent pen? You know, I, I love that when they come out because this guy is 100% good when you just go to his muscularity, his shape, and, and all the things that we talk about and love to talk about. He's got bone work. He's got some design to him. Uh, I think probably one of the things that uh, it, the stoutness of skull that goes with this whole litter has, has been really, really good. They're not short hip dogs, so therefore they're going to have some locomotion or some length of stride when you go off their rear leg. And, and again, just because he's got a little bit of a wave in his ear, uh, you know, call it scratch and dent, but, uh, boy, I've, I've done well with scratch and dents through the years. I mean, the Heinz Ranch, I mean, I, oh. I remember them g going down there and uh, seeing, seeing a bunch of scratch and dent pigs, and usually uh, they'd be some of my favorites in the barn. And uh, like this one quite a bit. Don't, uh, don't let that scare you away. I think that he's got a large feeding window and uh, can be competitive at any level he goes at.